If you've ever wanted to see me play Castaways on the flute, check out my TikTok. <laughs> Watch me go and do my thing. Welcome to my channel. I'm Allie Fitz and I'm back with another video. And if you're new here, hello, I love you already. Make sure you slap that subscribe button to become part of the Fitz fam today. We pretty lit, it's true. And once you've done that, make sure to follow my social medias over here to stay connected with your girl. And turn on those post notifications so you know all the tea first. Speaking of tea, if y'all did not know, my song Do My Thing is now available on Apple Music, iTunes, Spotify, all the other things, I can't remember. But you can listen to it today. And while you're streaming, you wanna make sure you're wearing the cutest merch ever, right? Correct. So hop on over to shop.iamallyfits.com so you can be wearing that merch. And also so you can get a shout out on my YouTube video and my Instagram and everything else. But now that that self promo is out of the way, welcome to Friday, we made it, congratulations. I swear it was just Monday, but whatever. Because Hannah's back and she wanted to start some drama, so. You know what, let's go. Previously on Love Island, Lottie was in bits after returning Islander and ex-best friend Hannah chose Gary for a date. Why me? And Hannah found a replacement for Lottie. Ooh, the spider that lives on the roof terrace. <laughs> oh, she's not that bad. I'm pretty sure she's talking about the spider. Tonight, tensions have been a little high with the returning Islanders, so it's time for the best thing to diffuse the drama. A welcome party, of course. Oh. Well, anyway, it's evening and the Islanders are getting ready for the night ahead. I need to look incredible tonight and I will. What sort of style should I go for? Um, let's do, what do I have? I have this. What is new? What is new? Listen, my new outfit is still new. Damn, hun, that look is something else. Something good, I hope. Joe looks you up and down smiling. Those boys are in trouble. Oh, aw, oh, thanks Joe. Lottie throws a furtive glance across the room at Hannah, who seems to pretend not to notice. Ooh, it could all kick off tonight. If Hannah makes a move on Gary, she's canceled, or she'll just make a fool of herself. Or Lottie needs to be the bigger woman. She'll just make a fool of herself because she knows that we are all clicky in here and you are new, so we're not gonna like you. As if Gary and Lottie would break up. Is everyone ready to go downstairs? Only since forever. I'm not about to miss my own party. Let's see how this one pans out. All right, well, Look, Lexi has arrived. But first, let me go over here with Gary, Carl, and Hannah, because that's where the real tea is. You walk outside. The garden is filled with bright lights, music, and laughter. Carl turns to you. Beside him stand Hannah and Gary grinning, their clothes drenched with pool water. <gasps> Lexi, up for a swim? I don't even like you anymore, shut up. Gary just pushed me in, the cheek of it. Hannah bumps him with her hip. Ooh, hey, you tried to push me first. I got there in the end. Only because you dragged me in with you. Gary, Carl, and Hannah jumped into the pool together. There's a sound from the kitchen. You look over your shoulder. Lottie and Hope turn pointedly away as you catch their eye. Ooh, of course they're watching. You can never get away from anyone in the villa. Should I join, jump in the pool, or sit and watch? Nah, I'm good. I just came to see what y'all were up to. You take a seat on the edge of the pool, dipping your toes in the water as the others line up. Hannah stands between Gary and Carl, gripping their hands. We all ready? One for all and all for one. They jump, landing in the water with an almighty splash. Hannah surfaces with a gasp and grabs a hold of Gary to stay afloat, squealing as Carl splashes her with water. Across the garden, you spot Lucas talking with the other islanders. He smiles. He'll probably come over here if I ask him to. No, should I go get Lucas to sit with me? I mean, <laughs> if I do, will he have a crush on me? Like, chill, Lucas. I mean, he can come over as friends. Come on, as friends. You back into him. He says something to the others and comes over. Uh-oh, didn't want to jump in? No. Lucas sits down beside you. They're not very subtle, are they? Lucas is commenting on Hannah and Gary's subtlety. I know, right? Lottie's literally right over there in the kitchen watching. I feel so bad for her. You sit side by side in silence for a moment, watching the others splash around. In the pool, Gary lifts Hannah by her waist and spins her around before dunking her back into the water. Come on, let's leave those lovebirds to it. Wow. I've gotta head back inside, but I'll see you around later. Lucas gets up and walks off into the night. Okay, Gary, whatever. Let me go talk with Lottie and my boy and, you know, Hope and that dude. In the kitchen, Bobby jams a pint glass into a cocktail shaker and gives it a good hard shake over his shoulder. I call this one the Bobby Fish. He pours the cocktail into the four glasses in front of him, then adds a splash of something red that somehow doesn't mix with the other ingredients. Uh-oh. It looks like it has tentacles. Bobby's made everyone cocktails and named them after him. Um, can I get one? Why, of course. 
He pours a few ingredients into the mixer, gives it another shake, pours it out, adds the red liquor, and hands it to you. Voila! One bobby fish. Still better than Rocco's mocktails. Gosh, that feels like such a long time ago now. Some things are better left as memories. Like Ibrahim's Violet Man drink with a tomato in it. That was actually kind of tasty though. Lottie's gaze flickers over to Hannah, sitting with her feet in the pool, surrounded by boys. I don't think she's going for Gary. Oh, don't be fooled, of course she is. Noah, baby, it's kind of obvious. Noah reckons Hannah's not going for Gary. Um, she's definitely going for him. What do you mean? Cause she's not going for Bobby. It doesn't take a genius to know that she'd pick him over the other guys in a heartbeat. Bobby puts an arm around Lottie and gives her shoulder a gentle, reassuring squeeze. So you don't think that maybe she just likes feeling like she's got the power? Listen, babe, I put Hannah fancying Gary at about 80, 20 odds. And Gary fancying her back, 50, 50. Oh, so basically you can't tell? I mean that it's early days and I don't think he knows yet either. When he knows, I'll know. The five of you turn to watch Hannah. She flips her hair and giggles. Hope reckons she can tell when people fancy other people. Um, okay, who fancies you, girl? Me? Well, er, I guess, obviously Noah. Hope flounders, blushing slightly. Mm, I think some of the guys who were here before me might have liked me. I don't think anybody does now, but that's okay. <laughs> I have Noah. He weaves his arm through hers as she cuddles up to him. The conversation dies at the sound of approaching footsteps. Is this the cocktail corner? Yes, sure is. Could I get one? Lottie cuts in before Bobby can respond. I'll make it. Isn't Bobby the one who does this stuff? Before I started doing makeup, I was a bartender at this upmarket place in Melbourne. You know, one of those ones that have like fire, dry ice, and bubble liquid in the drinks. Oh, I love those places. I'm actually really good. Lucas and Bobby exchange a glance. Bobby shrugs. Okay, consider me interested. <laughs> I prefer making several drinks at once though. Anyone else want something? Lucas hesitates, then turns to you. I'll have what she's having. Oh, talk about pressure. Um, let's go for a Bobby Fish, Violet Man, or Love Island Ice Tea. Oh yes, I can totally do that. I'll need some sand, a dash of karma, and a sprinkle of drama. <laughs> sand? Noah looks in one of the cupboards. Don't think we got any karma. She shoots a look over at Hannah. Oh, I beg to differ. Karma's playing games with me right now. Everyone looks around, a little awkward. Anyway, yeah, sorry. One Love Island Ice Tea coming right up. I'll leave out the drama, karma, and sand. Could I get one of those? Yeah, me too. Me three, coming right up. Lottie pours several different bottles into the cocktail mixer, throws some ice in it, and shakes it before pouring the contents expertly into your glass. She slides garnishes onto the rim of each glass before handing them out. Wow. Okay, I'll be the first to say this looks incredible. Aw, someone jealous. <laughs> hey, I never claimed to be the cocktail king. I'm a pastry chef, that's what I do. Less talking, more appreciating my handiwork. Lucas raises a glass. A toast? Who should I clink glasses with? Lucas, Lottie, or everyone? To the villa. To the villa. To the villa. Your glasses make a soft tinkling sound. You take a sip. That actually tastes incredible. What should I tell everyone? My mouth is orgasming. Or I prefer Bobby's, or could be better. My mouth is orgasming. I'll take that as a compliment. For the record, I thought it was incredible. Oh, absolutely delicious. The sound of whoops, splashing, music and laughter reaches you from across the lawn. I shouldn't spend all the night in the kitchen when there's a party going on. I wonder what everyone else is up to. Um, well, let's go find out then. I forgot about Chelsea and them. What's up, Chelsea? The sound of music draws you to the center of the lawn, where a group of islanders have formed a dance circle. Oh, shoot. Marisol spots you and takes you by hand, pulling you into the throng. Uh-oh. Come join, Lexi. Let's see those moves. Oh, Marisol wants me to join with everyone. Um, time to show off some dance skills. Start twerking. Oh yes, let's let's twerk. <laughs> you put your hands on your knees and stick your butt out, jiggling it up and down. Go girl, sweet baby cheek. <laughs> Marisol nudges him with her elbow. Oops. I mean, that looks difficult. <laughs> okay, Graham, say less. That's almost better than what I can do. Someone else starts clapping behind you. You turn around. Who is it? All right, everyone. Oh. Oh, are we dancing? I love dancing. OMG, you do? That's so wild. The others gather around and start to dance, all except for Hope and Lottie, who linger back in the kitchen watching. Oh, Bobby makes his way over to you and wraps his arms around your waist. Aw, Bobby wants to dance with me. Dance reluctantly, grind up on him or sashay away. Um, I'm gonna grind up on him. I hope he doesn't feel uncomfortable. You bust out your sexiest moves, moving up and down on Bobby's body like a pole in a nightclub. Wow, you're so sexy. Oh, I love how you move. 
Hey everyone, check this out. Uh-oh, Joe gets down on her belly and does the caterpillar. Joe. Woo, go Joe. Now become the butterfly you were born to be. Uh-uh. Ibrahim watches, impressed, and joins Joe on the grass for his own attempt. Oh my God. Ugh. <laughs> he flunks it and does some push-ups instead. Mm. That's harder than it seems. You should just leave it to the pros next time. Oh. You survey the space. A group of boys has formed around Hannah, dancing apart from the other girls. Who should I dance with? Bobby, Gary, Lucas, or the girls? Um, look, I'm gonna try something. I don't want, I don't want Lottie to get mad at me, but I'm just gonna try to see what Hannah would do if I danced with Gary. Bobby, don't be mad at me, because we dance first. Let me just see something. You make your way over to Gary, moving your body against his. Ooh, well, isn't this a sexy surprise? He closes the gap between you, purposefully ignoring the others. Hmm? You glance over to see Bobby watching you. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh no, okay. Um, people said they wanted drama. Here it is. You spend the next hour dancing with Gary until both of you are slick with sweat. Okay, I was just trying to see if Hannah was gonna go sicko mode and she didn't. So that was exhausting, but fun. I was just dancing, Bobby. It's not like I kissed him. I'm starting to feel a little tired. Am I gonna talk to Lucas or do I just wanna go to bed? Let's see what Lucas is up to or let's get to bed. Ah, listen, Lucas gotta chill. Why are they trying to set me up with him? Cause I'm not gonna talk to him if that means that he's gonna like me. Bruh, let, let's see what he's up to, but I'm not trying to date him. I'm not trying to date him. You take a seat at the fire pit. Uh oh, hey again. Hey, I was actually just leaving. Getting a bit hot down here by the fire. I'm going to cool off on the roof. Oh, you can join me if you want. No, but don't leave the party just for me. I don't think Bobby's looking, but am I really that interested in Lucas? No, do I want to string two people along? What kind of message does it send if I cheat with Lucas? Is that a good way to start a relationship if you want it to last? It could be fun, but it would get our relationship off to an odd start. No! Maybe I can wait until after the next recoupling? That way there's less chance we hurt anyone. But on the other hand, there's no time like the present. Decisions, decisions. Um, no, no, I'm happy downstairs. And if I was, no, not with Lucas, no, that's fine. I just need to cool off a bit. It's getting pretty late anyway, so I'll probably turn in. See you inside. They wanted me to cheat. I cannot believe they wanted me to cheat. Mm. Time to hit the hay. Well, I mean, technically it's not cheating. This is Love Island, but you know. I better get ready for bed. Let me look cute. Let me wear this, boom. Next time on Love Island, the final recoupling. Oh, shoot. I thought it would be good if we talked about it. <gasps> Don't miss it. The final recoupling. Previously on Love Island, the Islanders decided to throw a party to welcome Lucas and Hannah back to the fold and figure out Hannah's game plan. Ooh. I put Hannah fancying Gary at about 80-20 odds and Gary fancying her back 50-50. So you basically can't tell? The drinks flowed, Bobby rebranded a few cocktails and Lucas decided to crack on. Mm, he did. I was actually just leaving. You can join me if you want. No, Lexi wasn't having any of it. Not with Lee, no. No thanks, I'm happy down here. Now it's time for the real party. The morning after the night before gossip party. Oh wow, here we go. Let's talk about Hannah. Lottie, Hope, and Lexi watch a tired Chelsea slumped over her makeup bag. <laughs> oh, I should have gone to bed way earlier. Why didn't someone make me go to bed earlier? Have you tried stopping you? You just kept going. I was tired just watching you. Then you lay down on the lawn and started talking about cat cafes. That explains the grass stain on the back of my dress. Could have been worse. You didn't have to put up with Hannah trying to crack on to your man all night. Yeah, that looked intense. Maybe you should focus on your problems with Bobby. Huh? Ugh, Lottie's right. She isn't the only one with the problems. Wait, why should come for me though? Actually, I should tell him about Lucas trying to crack on. He could have a word with Lucas. Ooh, I need to change up this look. That will make me feel better. What says too hot to care? Well, I mean, what says I'm not trying to spin up all my diamonds too? Oh, that's cute. I forgot I had this. Hold up, I'm putting this on. Perfect for going unnoticed. Wow! I'm not mad about seeing this look again. This outfit is top shelf, Lexi. Thanks, babe. You know what we all need? If she says a day in a cat cafe. A day in a cat cafe. You can go play bingo, drink tea, have cake, all while stroking adorable pussycat. What do I think of cat cafes? Um, Honestly, that sounds kind of fun to me. How have 
I never heard of this before. Because you weren't around when she started going on about it last night. <laughs> Hold on then, Lexi wasn't there? So where did you disappear off to, Lexi? Oh, the girls turn to look at you. What should I tell the girls? Lucas wanted to chat or I just needed some air. Aw, babes, you should have said I would have come with. I needed to be by myself a bit. I'm fine now. I hate lying to Chelsea, but I should talk to Bobby before anyone else. Loud laughter fills the air and the other girls swarm into the dressing room. Uh-oh. How do you lot have any energy? You look great, Hannah. What's your secret? I surround myself with attractive men and drink lots of water. Shut up. Lottie's jaw clenches. Hannah smirks. Gary and Hannah seemed close last night. Maybe I should say something. Give it a rest, Hannah. Or you look like you were having a great time. Or some people were being a bit extra. Some people were being a bit extra. Oh, really? And which people were they? They know who they are. I should have just called her out. Well, I'm glad they do because I don't have a clue. Hannah tosses her hair. Lottie sighs. I've got a text. The boys make their way into the dressing room. It's way too early for this. What is it, Joe? Ibrahim yawns loudly, setting off a series of yawns from the other Islanders. Why does that happen? When one person yawns, everyone does. Maybe because everyone's tired? What's this challenge then? If it's physical, I'm boycotting it. No way. Islanders, tonight there will be a recoupling. Girls, it's time to choose once and for all which Islander you want to be coupled up with. Oh my gosh. If they weren't awake before, I'll bet they're awake now. The Islanders are stunned into silence. They exchange surprised looks. No one says a word. Noah wanders over to Hope and puts his arms around her waist. What? Today? And all the girls get to pick? Even the ones who aren't coupled up? Yes, Chelsea, all the girls. Lottie looks over at Hannah, who is smiling flirtatiously at Carl. Well, I'm glad. Well, I'm glad that I'm done with him because we would have had a problem. Lottie's definitely gonna have some competition. I wouldn't want to be in her shoes. Ooh. After this recoupling, we'll be in the same couples until we leave the villa. And it's ladies' choice. I don't know about you girls, but I'm excited. You and Chelsea exchange a look. Let's see, can you come with me for a sec? I need to have a chat. She leans in closer. About the recoupling? You look over at Bobby. Oh, I'll make us some breakfast while you're away. Okay, a chat with Chelsea. Yeah, that's my girl. Let's talk. Great. Now, let's go talk about the recoupling. You and Chelsea walk out of earshot of the rest of the Islanders. How is it the final recoupling already? I know, time has just flown by. Today we're gonna pick the one that we wanna spend the rest of our time coupled up with. That makes me feel excited, but worried at the same time. Like, I feel worried, but I know who I'm gonna choose, I think. I mean, what if things don't work out? Then you're stuck with them till you leave. What? It's true. But you two are so cute together. Things have been going really well. But whoever I pick will be my partner till we leave the villa. Maybe I should tell Chelsea about Lucas. No, there was nothing to, no. Better not say anything, not until I'm sure about how I feel. This recoupling is massive. This time tomorrow, we could be coupled up with our dream partner. Or we could be stuck with someone we're not into for the rest of the show. You have to know by now, right? Who you really wanna be with? It's a big decision, don't choose lightly. If you end up with someone who's not your first choice, this whole summer might have been for nothing. The person I really, really, really wanna be with is, um, Bobby. He can cook, he makes me laugh, and he's cute. What's not to like? Lexi, are you all right? You've been quiet for ages. What? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. You sure, hun? You totally zoned out for a good minute. I was lost in thought. Let's go and see if there's any breakfast left. That's a great idea. You and Chelsea can hear laughter. You follow the noise. Can you imagine two of Bobby? You can't recreate perfection. Ah, but that's the whole point. It's a clone. He'd be exactly like you in every way. Calm down now, Raheem. Not in every way. Bobby winks at you. Oh, wink back. Oh, Bobby flashes you a smile. Why are we talking about cloning Bobby? Because in an ideal world, more than one of you lucky ladies would be able to couple up with all of this. Wow, he poses and pouts. Hope taps him playfully on the arm. Stop it, I'm eating. OMG, what if the clone tried to take over your life? I mean, how would you know who was the original? Tell them something about yourself that no one else knows. When I was seven, I wet myself at a friend's birthday party. I had to spend the rest of the party in one of her dresses. Oh! You weren't a cute before though. Haven't you, Bobo? Yeah, I had no problems with it. The girl whose dress it was, that's a different story. Anyway, a clone would have never known that about me. I think I'd have some kind of safety word. I bet you would. Oh, couldn't you tell from a secret birthmark or a beauty spot? It's a clone. It'd have all the same birthmarks you had. Oh, yeah. Lexi, what do you think? Best way to spot a clone? Um, I would ask them a security question, have a code word, or are we talking about the remote controlled airplanes? 
I would, that's a drone girl. That's a drone. I would, I would ask them a security question. It's the best idea. Only the original could know the answer. Bobby comes over and puts his arm around you. He leans into your ear. Hey, can we have a chat in private? Oh, sure. You follow Bobby over to the day beds. Uh oh, here we go. You and Bobby stretch out on the bed. The sound of bird song fills the air. There's a moment of silence before Bobby turns to you. So, the final recoupling. Yeah, funny how time flies. I thought it would be good if we talked about it. Bobby looks at you thoughtfully. I don't think I've ever been this happy with someone before. You're such an amazing girl. I think we make a great team. But I wanted to make sure you felt the same. So how do you feel about us being coupled up? How do I feel about being coupled up with Bobby? I'm really happy. I'm so relieved to hear you say that because there's no one else I wanna be coupled up with. Bobby takes your hand in his. I think we have something really special. We could have a future outside the villa. Bobby thinks there's a future for us. I should tell him about Lucas. If it came out later, it would make me look bad. You've gone quiet. Should I tell him about Lucas grafting on me? I mean, it doesn't matter because I, I didn't accept his grafting. People can graft. I, I'm not saying nothing. I'll sort things out with Lucas myself. Are you all right? Just a bit emotional. Oh, babe, you had breakfast? Aw, no, I'm starving. Let's go grab something from the kitchen. Aw. The girls have called a meeting to discuss the recoupling. Uh-oh. Wisely, the boys have decided to take this opportunity to work on their tans. <laughs> Gotta look good for that final recoupling. The girls are already chatting away excitedly. You take a seat around the fire. Here we go. I've got butterflies. How are the rest of you girls feeling? I'm actually excited. Are you gonna couple up with Carl again? Actually, I think I might swap. <gasps> what? Why? Well, we were chatting today and I got the feeling he was into someone else. Hannah. It's horrible when that happens, Chelsea. Change him up. Uh, that's the plan. I wanna be with someone who fancies me. There's more to coupling up than attraction. Lottie gives Hannah a pointed look. Hannah smiles. I agree. It's gotta be someone you think you could go the distance with. Surely it should be someone you think you could win Love Island with. What do you think, Lexi? Um, what matters most with the final recoupling? Passion, a future together, or winning? A future together. I'm looking for the love of my life. That means someone who's my rock, my best mate, and my partner in crime. Oh, stop, you're gonna make me cry. That was beautiful. I'm wanting embroidered onto a cushion right now. You know what I think? Hold that thought, Lottie. Guys, I got a text. Come on, you didn't think it was gonna be a lazy day in the sun, did you? Next time on Love Island. Our couples contemplate their future together. What? The UK? You think we're staying home for our first holiday? That's England, Scotland, North Ireland, and Wales. That's four countries. And will Lottie and Hannah ever talk about the elephant in the room? I hope they fight. Oh. It's an expression, Chelsea. There isn't a real elephant. Now listen, I don't know why Hannah is bothering me so much, but I miss Priya. I really do miss Priya. Hannah, I hope you get kicked out the house. <laughs> but if you enjoyed this video and want more Love Island, make sure to give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Let them know about this tea. And also don't forget to buy, stream, and download my music because it does indeed slap. And check out shop.iamallyfits.com so you can get you some merch. So have a great day in the name of the Lord. May God bless you every step.